Oh my gosh, y'all, I am so excited to introduce you to the 41st annual Peter Anderson Festival here in coastal Mississippi. It is full of lots, lots of interesting art and interesting people. And I think I need to put my sash on for this. Come on, y'all. Oh, Ocean Springs is a community that is known for its arts. And this is one of those ones that we have artists locally, regionally, and from all over the United States here. We, be, we have vendors far away as California, New York, Florida, all over the United States here with us. What in the world are you thinking when you came up with this idea? Just uh, started it out straight and it ended up crooked. <laughs> That's how art is, isn't it? Yeah, that's not hard to do. I'm not a cabinet builder. I'm a birdhouse builder. She has little Mississippis. Why do you do it? I'm actually a third generation soap maker. Really? <laughs> yes. I, I, my mom, I learned from my mom. He learned from my grandmother. And I decided to turn it into a business. I was allergic to a lot of products and thought, I can't use anything else, so I'm going to make my own. And that was eight years ago. And that's all I do for a living now. Hi. Hi. This is serious. Okay, what's up with these um, interesting metal thingies? This is called assemblage art. That's found object assemblage art. So I hunt around like yard sales and flea markets and things, and I look for old stuff, and then I put it together into new stuff. He's a puppy. Well, hello, hello. Hi. Hi. So who's who's the artist here? There. Yeah. Just passed her up. Right we passed here. her up. You're the artist. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Candace. Hi, Candace. Are you hiding from me? No, I can't miss you. <laughs> You're the artist here. Yes. Are you? Where are you from? Lake Charles, Louisiana. Well, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. I always say the best artists are from Mississippi. I'm from Mississippi today. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your art. Um, I do a combination of uh, painting, printmaking, mixed media, and lately I've been doing casting, which is uh, metal, metal uh, castings from like um, silicone molds and stuff like that. So, Why in the world do you do this? Uh, I've been making a living doing this for almost 20 years, and uh, I never wanted to have another boss because I figured I'd get fired if I did, so I just you know, stuck it out and just did what the, what the world I wanted to do, so. Ooh, vodka and Sprite from Chris. Chris, are you the one who gave me vodka and Sprite? That, that wasn't me. That wasn't you. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Hello. I heard you are the grandson of the great Peter Anderson. No, actually, my grandfather was Walter Anderson. What's the difference? Well, one was my grandfather and one was my great uncle. So, Peter was my grandfather's brother. So you're like royalty here in Ocean Springs. Well, I wouldn't say that. You wouldn't? But I was definitely boosted into the arts um, by the proper people who had a handle on it. And I like to think that I have a um, little trickle-down effect was given here. Ah, so you're basically saying you're an artist. I dabble. Okay, what kind of art do you do? Well, look around. This is uh, yours? Yeah, this is my booth. I do watercolors and oil paintings, not very well, but I'm learning. And I think it looks beautiful. Also, uh, linoleum block cuts like my grandfather did. Um, I grew up around him, so it was his work. I never met my grandfather, but I feel like I know him through his work. So why are you an artist? Well, I can't do anything else. No, they wouldn't take me a BP or a BFI, <laughs> waste disposal, you know. <laughs> the best, no, best answer today. I love fishing. I would have been a, a meteorologist, actually, as one of wanted to be a weatherman. But I'm not Chris, very good on camera. <laughs> Chris could be, Chris, reporting your, your weather for WXXV. Well, it'll be fair to partly beautiful and an awesome Peter Anderson festival. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at these. They're so beautiful. They're all my favorite colors. All the bright colors of the rainbow. And guess what, y'all? After the break, we're going to learn how to make this. Stay with us. All right, you guys, and we're back. We're going to be learning how to do the firing method. It's called Raku that gives this uh, pottery this real neat copper, really pretty sheen. And I'm joined here with the 
three-time U.S. Pottery Olympic champion. I hope I got that right. Oh, I forgot your name. Bruce. Bruce, Bruce Odell. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, great. Glad to do it. Oh, my gosh. So you're um, going to show me how to do this? Yeah, if you would put this glove on. It's all wet. Oh, Lord. I'm and birthday. this glove on. I really got to do it like this? And hold on to this. Oh, what am I you're doing? Gonna be, you're going to be standing right over here. I'm going to be spraying. Okay, what spraying, spraying the glaze. I'm, I'm going to go get a pot for you. Glaze. Out of the kill, just one second. Well, this happened really fast, y'all. Uh, we're doing a firing, and I'm spraying glaze. And this guy came from Lafayette, and he's been doing this festival since the 1980s. Apparently, it's pretty popular. Oh my God, look at that. Okay. What so, do you want me to do? Spray real quick right across the front. Keep just, spraying. Just keep spraying. What's going on here, Bruce? So this is called Raku, ancient Japanese technique, where in about 30 minutes you go to 2,000 degrees. The Japanese would snatch the pots out of the kiln and let them cool on the ground. They were making roofing tiles, so they had to make a lot really? of pieces in a short time. In the 1940s, a guy named Paul Soldner started pulling the pots out, putting them in a barrel with some things that burn, and the burning material would change the color. I'm doing something kind of like that, but I'm doing all the burning out in the open air where I can control it. Oh, you really? I'm a little scared right now, Bruce. Is okay, that okay? So you can ditch it. Okay, ditch the guys. Where's the fire coming Good. from? So the pot is 1700 degrees, oh, and that goodness. is water, alcohol, and corn oil. Oh, and lovely. It's burning. You didn't tell me that and part. And the burning <laughs> needed air to burn, stole air from the glaze, turned it pure copper. I'm going to. Begin to add air back, making color happen. God, copper those are and no colors. air is pure copper colored. Copper and oxygen can be gold, red, purple, blue, green, yellow. The burning needed air to burn, stole air from the glaze, and now we're adding air back and making all these colors happen. Wow, that is gorgeous. So the colors are happening from the air. From the air and the temperature, that's right. I love copper. I think copper is the be most beautiful metal. It what is. would happen if I sprayed more of this on here? Well, it probably won't ignite at this temperature, but I mean, you could see, spray it. Yeah, see, Aww. nothing. Flame, <laughs> flames over. It's cool enough to be no flames. So this is your signature type. Does anybody else do this type of... Nobody um, in the history of man on earth has ever done it quite like this. Of course, because you are an artist. <laughs> Why are you an artist, Bruce? Uh, well, I, I accidentally became an art major because I thought that physics of optics and chemistry of darkroom materials is what photography was. Oh, really? But it... Uh... <laughs> okay, so last part of the process is to stop the whole process. And how do we do that? Like so. Okay. In the oh. water. Oh. Get rid of any sawdust left inside. Ooh. Back in the water. Oh, it's turning orange. Does it keep changing? <laughs> Does it keep <laughs> changing? the bottom off of it. <gasps> do you ever get hurt doing this? No. So steam is very exciting, and I'm doing this a little faster than normal. Yeah. And it uh, and it blew literally blew Aww. the bottom off of the pot. It's okay. I make more pots. Okay. It's part of what the can game. it be now? Now that it has no bottom in it. Uh, now it is a decorative accessory. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, fantastic. Thank now you. Now it's a garden pot, and you could plant right in it. It would be. Uh, what can I do with this right here? You can lay that down in. I can lay it down. I keep That'd feeling like that is fire right there. You may want to keep the gloves on so you can hold this pot. It's okay. still going to be kind of hot. And no. Oh, look. No bottom. Oh, look, there's no bottom on this. We blew the bottom out. Well, Bruce, thank you so much for being with us today. And this is so totally gorgeous. Glad to do it. That was fun. this episode of Miss Congeniality. Special thanks to the Ocean Springs Chamber of Commerce. They are the ones getting us back to our car because you know my feet are hurting after walking around at this festival. <laughs> if you like my hair, Antonia Salon in Gulfport, ladies. Until next time, I am Miss Congeniality.